so even within my lifetime and stretching back, I mean, up until I was maybe in high school, I felt that stigma and I saw that stigma in my grandmother and uh, how people kind of treated her um, and how people even treated me versus how they treated my brother, yeah. who is what they call neurotypical, mm -hmm. um, which means basically uh, psychologically normal, but I don't believe that that's a thing. Yeah. Um, I think everybody's got their stuff. Um, but even between me and my brother, people treated my brother way better than they treated me. I understand. I was called uh, retarded constantly uh, when I was in middle school. I was beaten up a lot. Um, of significant bullying. Um, and it was all because they saw me as different. Gotcha. Um, and I went to military school briefly because I, I lived in Savannah, Georgia, and that was where my friends were going. Um, and I was hazed publicly there. They made me get up in front of a lot of uh, the whole battalion of guys, and um, we dressed up every Wednesday, and they made me act like a monkey in front of everybody. Um, so um, there was consequences for the guy who did it, but I mean, that kind of singling out was really hurtful, and it showed me that we still have a long way to go. Uh, but since then, I haven't felt it as, maybe it's because all of the people around me have matured. Mm -hmm. um, but I really don't feel like I stand out that much. I don't, in that way. Yeah. I don't feel like I, um, I don't feel like I'm ostracized because of my disability. 